Hello everybody and welcome back to another J&K discussion. I'm Jammer. I'm Kayla. So just today Platonic Game released some first look uh, gameplay and photos of their project game which used to be Project Ukulele. How with the official title Yuka and Lele. Play on words of ukulele like banjo. Anyways, so the Kickstarter will be opening up May 1st which is tomorrow. So we'll be sh getting probably some new information then as well. So Kira Love, overall first impressions of just the screenshots, the gameplay, and overall look of it. So I actually do like how it looks. I think it's kind of fun, the characters that they chose to go with. The little chameleon and the bat. Yeah, Yuka being the chameleon, which we actually guessed, that was one of our guesses. We knew he was going to be a lizard or something, and we actually, yep. I remember us saying chameleon may be one of them. Yep. But we were way off on what uh, Laylee was going to be. I think one of the ones they said was an owl, so that's close <laughs> enough. They got wings. Yeah, I don't know. I mean... It's kind of interesting that how small uh, Laylee is compared to Yuka, you know what I mean? Like, it, it almost looks like Yuka's just wearing a hat that's like shaped like a bat, <laughs> you it, know? It almost reminds me of like when you grab a Lego guy and put the Lego bat on top of his head. Yeah. That's what I thought. I of. mean, it looks great though. I actually really like these character designs. Mm -hmm. Like, I was never super excited about this game coming out. I mean, granted, I have never played the Banjo Kazooie's, ne uh, neither Banjo or Banjo Tooie, or 3E, -E or the Nuts and Bolts or whatever. But I've always known that he was a very iconic character of the 64 era, so I always knew there was a prestige behind it and like a huge fan base, but I was just never a part of it. So I thought maybe, you know, if I check this out a little bit and, and like maybe I'd spur interest into it. And after hearing the information here and there, it was kind of like, meh. But after seeing this character and seeing just the design of like, just the art design, it just looks amazing. I don't know, I thought it looked really pretty. It does look really nice. I was actually surprised, as you know my standpoint on Banjo Kazooie. Absolutely not a fan, but this game actually looks like one that would be interesting to watch if not play a little bit of. Yeah. Yeah, it's really, I, I really, and then there was that one scene where there was like, uh, nighttime. You remember that one scene? And like, I don't know, like the contrast was super awesome there. Yeah, it looks like they put a lot of focus into it, which is nice because it's kind of the revitalization for yeah. them. Other than that small tidbit that we saw, uh, for the Connect when that first came out. Yeah. But... Overall, I'm surprised that they put forth so much effort just to get this one put out. Yeah, and this not, is a Kickstarter. Yeah, yeah, they're not using their iconic characters. They've made new ones. Yeah, because, like, usually, aren't usually Kickstarters literally, like, concept art and, like, ideas, and it's like, hey, give us money so that we can actually do the ideas. Exactly, and this and one actually has a basis to it, which means for Kickstarter. It's a full playable game. Well, not full playable, but, like, it looked really polished in the, in the game that mm -hmm. they're playing. Like, there wasn't any, like, frame drops. I mean, it looks like they're smoothly really jumping smooth, around, yeah. you know? I love when he's rolling around on the frick, on rolling, like rolling Yuka across yep. the ground. Like, it really reminded me because in the band, I've watched some banjo and I, I, I noticed like banjo himself's actually pretty useless. Kazooie's kind of like where you get all your powers. Like, you have your flying mm -hmm. there, you have, I think it's called like claw trot or claw run, where like you got, like, you, you banjo hops on Kazooie's back and you run around the little chicken feet. <laughs> And like you can like go up slopes and stuff like that, and that's yeah. and basically whenever you play that game, or whenever I've seen anyone play that game, that's like the way to get around because it's faster than just being banjo. Oh, so yeah. I almost feel like with this little rolling feature, that's gonna be like the way to get around. Like oh, this is gonna be oh, like the please. definitive way to run around now. And, <laughs> that's how games are, you know. There's always that nice definitive way to get around, whether it's rolling or chicken feeding it. I know. I just think it's pretty cool because like they're keep, they're keeping that same mm -hmm. aspect, which is like a kind of redundancy, but like you didn't really need that, but it was still there. Not you know? only that, but what I saw, it kind of reminded me of the tropical freeze loading when you see. Oh yeah, the we're like cranky, of, yeah. or yeah, when they're running on top. Of, yeah, yeah, it, yeah, it is a lot. And that's another thing because the mm -hmm. uh, the Donkey Kong sixty four was a rare title. Yep. So maybe it's also a callback to that as well, or a little reference maybe, or not. Yeah. But um. I, re I also wanted to point out that the, when, how I said earlier with Banjo being kind of useless, it almost it looks like Yuka is actually going to have more point now. Because, like, uh, they said how the chameleon tongue can, like, grab stuff, mm -hmm. and then obviously there's the roll, and, like, so now there's actually, so now it seems actually more like a duo, like Duck Hunt duo, or yeah. any other duo, rather than literally, like, Kazooie having all the powers and Banjo being, like, a pack mule, yeah. or, you know? Yeah. And not only that, but if the, you know you're playing a chameleon, they might have some sort of like stealth mode that you can yeah, that'd be also. so cool. I think that'd be sweet to blend into like your background if they could do something like that. I'm, oh, of course they could. And then maybe like, uh, what else? Like yeah, stealth. You could do yeah, changing mm -hmm. colors or maybe like 
something maybe have to do with like because you know how chameleons can move their eyes separately. Yeah. I don't know how they'd even like, incorporate that, but I'm sure they could figure out something like mm -hmm. make it where you have to like trigger panels or something like that yeah, with exactly. your eyes or I don't know. And then yeah, and then the, all the all the things they could do with now Yuka being a bat. There's the sonar capabilities. Mm -hmm. You can shoot sonic waves. They said uh, you can make you know the flutter fly. So there's no word. Uh, well, obviously, because it's still Kickstarter, but there's no word what console this is going to be for, but we can always speculate. I'm feeling, well, they did announce, though, that if this comes through, they're going to do exclusive early access to Steam account users. Yep. So it's going to come to PC first. And then I, I we could easily see the two big ones, PlayStation, Xbox mm -hmm. One. Do you think Wii U's got a chance? Even if it's not the same day, even if it's later on, do you think they have a chance? I think Wii U definitely has a chance with a game like this. Mm -hmm. I mean, it's really open-ended, so there's a lot that can be done to make it work for the Wii U. Uh, if it's coming to PC, you know, we got modders, we got people who just know how to fix things, and yeah. they'll be able to contribute a lot to this game as well, which I think is probably what they're trying to go for on it. Yeah, just because they're so small and, yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I definitely, I hope it comes to Wii U. I mean, because I feel like the audience for this type of games, primary primary owners of consoles are going to be the ones who own the Nintendo consoles because they're the ones who like the platforming games, the more cartoony looking games. Mm -hmm. Like, the nowadays, so the, the 4 and the 1 are really meant on, like, You're, realistic graphics, yeah. uh, guns, and you know what I mean? It's so, like, more of a violent premises rather than a relaxing kind so of So, yeah, premises. the audience, yeah, I mean, don't get me wrong, I guarantee some Nintendo oh, is yeah, on those, yeah. too. But I feel like the people, the, like, the demographic of people who own Wii U's mm -hmm. might be more appealed to that game oh, rather agreed. than agreed. Xbox One owners. Mm -hmm. Maybe, le maybe Xbox One owners just because of the Microsoft Rare yeah, thing. Yeah. But PlayStation would be, like, the least of them all. Yeah. I don't know. We'll see what I happens. Mean, yeah, and just with that, PlayStation, they like to focus a lot on their shooters, their graphics, and the realisticness of their games. Yeah. Xbox, they do have a little bit more wide range, in my opinion, uh -huh. that is, yeah. with their games. You got you got some more animated, like Fable series, things like that. But once again, it's more built around it's a mature more audience and yeah. more realistic. Whereas Wii U does a great job of incorporating it's... that maturity and that childness together, so it covers all bases. You can be older teenagers wanting to play you can be younger wanting yeah. to play it it's really got that solid connection yeah the game. and i don't i by the look of it the graphics didn't look too hardware it didn't look like it'd be too hardware intensive so no. I, I, the wii U could definitely handle at least what we saw yeah. like it didn't look too crazy it didn't look like the arm hairs on the chameleon was going crazy you know like it looked like the wii U could easily handle that easily easily yeah. even if there was like a couple like you know chunks of enemies on there maybe like 10 or 20 or i, I could at least see that if it was like you know <laughs> I mean, even Hyrule Warriors, though, if you think about it, like, those handled hundreds of enemies on yeah, screen yeah. at once. So, I mean, I feel like with the style and, like, the like, that they chose, it, it could work. It, they could do it. They it's, could definitely get so it. So there's done. really nothing holding them back besides getting it, you know, licensed for that, mm. uh, for the system. And that's, you know. And then, obviously, we'll getting the project kickstarted. <laughs> kickstarted, yeah. But hopefully the Kickstarter will go pretty smoothly for it. Yeah. I mean, that's a great idea for them to kind of ask around, because people... They want to see games, you know, and the diehard fans, they're going to contribute something oh, at least. Oh, guarantee. Guarantee. I, I can name a few people that might are like, already have their bank accounts ready. Yeah. Like the minute that the Kickstarter opens. Oh, but what man. about you? Are you going to contribute at all? No. <laughs> Not with the gas I got to pay for. No. <sighs> no, I don't think I will either, to, to be brutally honest. Mm -hmm. I mean, I don't know. Yeah, we'll, we'll see. We'd have to see. If they'll give me a free copy of the game or something like that, or... You know, if I, like, pay 60 bucks and then I get the copy of the game when it comes out or something, you know what I mean? That'd be a pretty cool deal, Like, but... if they did something, like, I doubt it. Yeah, but I, mean, I highly if, doubt it, yeah. Yeah, if they did something like that, then might as well, then I'd be already paying for the game. Yeah. Granted, if it doesn't come out for Wii, a little, little, uh, out in the bush right there, but... <laughs> yeah. If it becomes a PS4 exclusive or PS3, then we're both doomed. Yeah, oh my goodness. <laughs> Alright, so is there any final thoughts you want to wrap this up with? Uh, Just I'd say, yeah. for Yuka... And Laylee, I'd say that their character design looks great. It's got that nice kind of uh, childness, but seriousness to it. Yeah. It's going to be fun seeing how it develops further on. I'm if excited. it develops, of If it develops, of course. But we're going to say it is. I guarantee it will, yeah. yeah. Almost guarantee it. Yeah, I, I'm really, I really, I just really love the designs. And just ukulele, like, it's that's just great. Like, it took me a second when I read it. I'm like, what, ukulele? Ah! <laughs> 
<laughs> you know, yep. it's like, uh, it, it's just like, it, they're doing a really good job, especially for what they're trying to capture, being the Banjo, the original Banjo-Kazooie mm-hmm. audience. So, overall, just I just love it. It looks great, and I look forward to seeing how this progresses. I have to agree completely. We're definitely going to have to keep following this one. Yeah, so if you like this video, be sure to like and follow us on Facebook and Twitter. Links in the description below. As always, give us a video and like and a comment. We love to hear your input. Thanks for watching. Catch you in the next one. Bye. Bye. Thank <laughs> you.